Hello everyone, for those of you who are new here, welcome to the channel, my name is Isaac and for those of you who aren't new, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be building the jump that I talked about last video, this old roller is going to be the landing and I'm going to build a takeoff out of this berm, so hopefully it'll be good. The berm, I haven't even gotten to ride it yet and it's already looking pretty sad. Um, it's been raining the past couple of days and must be the big drops from the tree come in and just destroy the berm. Also, kangaroos like to use this as a raceway, so I've had to patch up a heap of deep footprints from kangaroos, so that's not so great. But hopefully it'll ride well and it looks on as important, but it's still super soft, so I can't ride it yet. So yes, as I've already said, landing there, I'm going to use the dirt and just widen that bomb hole down there. I've already done a bit of digging here. But I'm just going to dig that out and use that dirt to build a nice bigger landing and then we'll build a takeoff here. I don't think it'll be a proper shark fin so it'll probably just mellow back out and then be a takeoff into this landing but we're going to start the landing see how it looks. I uh, hope you guys enjoy and let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so it's the next day and as you can see the kangaroos are already getting into the brand new landing and as it hardens up I'll be riding on it anyway so I guess I can't complain too much. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to build the takeoff. I think I'm just going to start piling dirt there and something should hopefully happen. Uh, it'll probably be quite a straight takeoff maybe with a tiny bit of a shark fin kind of vibe to it but it'll be pretty straight I think. I can't be certain until I've built it so I'm going to start building this. Problem is though the dirt's all the way over there and I have to carry each individual shovel all the way to here so that's the only problem but it's going to be good for the time lapses just me going back and forth so not too much of a problem at least I've got dirt nearby to use. So that's about all there is to say about the landing and what I'm going to do so let's start building the takeoff. I'm just going to give up. I'm going to not use any more of that dirt. It's almost gone anyway. I'm going to use the rest of it to smooth this area out here and pack that in. But what I'm going to do regarding the dirt I need for this jump still is I'm going to just clear off this bank here and dig that away. It's right here. I still need to put quite a bit of dirt in here so... Alrighty, so the jump is done and it looks really, really good. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Alright, so as you can see, the berm just goes really nicely into a nice gentle takeoff. It's nothing too harsh. The run out, I didn't actually do too much to it. I thought I was going to give it a nice whole resurface and pack the whole lot in. 
but I've just kind of left it. The takeoff is pretty mellow, which is good because last time there was a jump here, it was kind of just a little lump on the ground and it'd buck you over and it would get you lots of speed, but it wasn't as fun as it could have been. So I'm hoping this will work a lot better. All right, so from the edge of the takeoff to the very edge of the landing, it's 14 foot. So that's quite a nice size jump though. I reckon it'd be quite a safe jump, even though it's quite a high landing, it's still super soft. And when I will be testing it, the landing will still be quite soft. So shouldn't break my bike on this one and hopefully it'll work well. All right, so I've just checked the weather and it's gonna be sunny for the rest of the day today and sunny all day tomorrow. So I'm hoping sometime tomorrow, Arvo, I'll be able to come out and test these jumps. And I say jumps because I haven't tested the big jump before this new one up at the top of the hill. So that's still yet to be ridden. And this one obviously is as well. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. Hopefully the weather permits it and hopefully these jumps will be hard enough for me to ride them. So I don't know whether it'll be tomorrow or the next day or the next day, but in this video, you will be seeing me ride these jumps. So next clip will be in a couple days when I'm testing these jumps. Okay, let's go. Woo! Yeah! This time I want to pop up a bit higher and actually do the jump properly. And then we'll see about the new jump. It kicks a little bit when a tiny bit nose heavy, but I think that'll be quite easy to counteract. All right, I know I said that jump I just built will be a pretty safe one to test. Uh, I'm not too sure anymore. It's pretty scary and daunting coming straight out of that berm, but hopefully she'll be right. I'm gonna start here and I can just kind of cut in and go down the hill. I think that'll be a bit better than just coming straight out of that new jump that I'm not very used to yet, so. Oh, a bit scared for this one. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. All right, so I've done both the jumps. They both work. So I'm just pushing my bike up to the top to link them both together. It's doable, but it's very soft and you can feel the bike sliding around a bit underneath you. So hopefully that won't happen as much. I think my tires are a bit low as well, so that might be it as well, but let's link these jumps together. Alrighty, hopefully I don't die. Let's do it. Oh, oh that is so sketchy. All right, don't worry. The jumps are not sketchy. I'm so happy that they work and they actually feel pretty good. But just that berm is still very soft. And I'm just sliding around. Feels like I'm trying to go down a slip and slide on a mountain bike. But uh, sketchy, but rideable. So I'm gonna give you a nice montage now and hope you enjoy. All right, the jumps turned out well. They both work. I can clear them both very easily and they're both super fun. This whole section in here is super wet, but it works. Once it hardens up, it'll be a lot easier to have fun on this jump. It does work well. I've got a couple good tables in. As you can see, super soft, lots of ruts. Nowhere near as much as here though, because this is like only a day old and it's quite soft. All right, so a few things. After the jump I just built, it connects up with these older jumps that I already have here. So first thing is I need to clear these up. I need to get the whip snipper out and give them a good once over and give them a bit of love to get them running well again. So once I've redone these jumps, the whole line's gonna be working perfectly and I cannot wait for that. Second thing, thank you so much for 700 subscribers. I'm so stoked to be there and I can't wait to keep growing my YouTube channel. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe and thanks heaps to all of those who already have. And last of all, 
This is the whale tail and there's still quite a long way down there that I could build jumps. So, I've got a couple options. Do you want me to keep building jumps in that direction and finish this trail and make this trail that I've already built a lot longer? Or the second option is to completely start a new trail somewhere else. I've got a couple ideas, I'm not quite certain what I'd do yet, but do you want to see me continue building this trail and make it longer or start a new trail? So let me know in the comments down below what you think I should do and thanks in advance. Alrighty guys, that is the end of the video. I'm not gonna lie, these jumps aren't a heap of fun yet because they're just so soft and I probably shouldn't have ridden them yet. I wanted to do some riding in this video for you guys. So they're ridden, they work, and when it hardens up, it's gonna be a heap more fun. I cannot wait for that to happen. So after this video finishes, I'm going to go and give them a nice fresh layer and then I'll let it harden up properly before I ride them again. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you haven't already, as I've already said, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.